Hello, PLP Geometry, and welcome to your first video of Unit 3. Now, I didn't have a better title for Unit 3, so we're just going to call it More with Triangles. So Unit 3 is going to be called More with Triangles. So when it comes to geometry and triangles, we have some random topics that we're just going to kind of throw together into one unit. Uh, it's about, I'd say, five to six lessons long. So again, not quite as long as the other ones have been. So this first video is going to focus on angles in triangles. Angles in triangles. All right, so there are two major theorems that I'm going to talk about in this video. So the first one is called the triangle angle sum theorem. And I'm pretty sure you are familiar with the triangle angle sum theorem. What the triangle angle sum theorem says is that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So I'm pretty sure you've seen this in 7th or 8th grade, right? So I'm going to draw a generic triangle. It's nothing special. Just a regular old triangle. We'll label it angle A, B, and C, or triangle A, B, C. So what this theorem says is that if you add the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C, you're going to get 180. Okay, so it's going to be your job to do some problems involving this idea. Again, the three interior angles. Okay, the other theorem you have to talk about is called the triangle exterior angle theorem. So now we're going to go with the triangle exterior angle theorem. Okay, so what the triangle exterior angle theorem says is that uh, an exterior angle an exterior angle of a triangle equals the sum equals the sum of its two remote interior angles. An exterior angle of a triangle equals the sum of its two remote interior angles. All right, so let's draw a picture. Describing this, so if I have a triangle, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend one of the sides. So I'm going to extend this side out to the left. When I extend that side, I create an angle outside of this triangle. We're going to label it angle one. That is your exterior angle. So this is the exterior angle. When we talk about the remote interior angles, these are the angles that angle one does not share a vertex with. So angle one shares a vertex with that angle right there. So it's not that angle. So I'm going to label these other two angles, angle two and angle three. These two angles are the remote interior angles. Okay. And by this theorem, 
we should know that the measure of angle one, the exterior angle, is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. That would be the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three. Now, I do want to remind you uh, that we can use an old idea in these problems as well. So if you take a look at this angle that I put the dot in, let's call that angle four. Let's recall that here, one and four do make a linear pair. And let's remember that for a linear pair, that would mean the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle four would also equal 180 there. That's 180 degrees, okay? So don't forget that idea when you're trying to solve problems, okay? All right, great. So that's all I have for this first video. All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, good luck on the practice um, assignment.